Hey, how's it going? It's Keith with KMD Flips. Got a haul video for you. I found some stuff this weekend at garage sales. I went to a Goodwill, went to a thrift store, and I also found some stuff earlier in the week on my local neighborhood Facebook virtual yard sale page. So, you want to see what they are? Hang around. So I've already listed some of the items. Um, we'll go ahead and get into those here. I'll just put them up in a picture right next to me here. Hopefully this window isn't too much of a distraction. Um, first of all, I got these items at Goodwill. This is a Wizard of Oz tin. Uh, it's a little smaller than a lunchbox, um, but I picked it up for a dollar and I've got it listed for $12.88 plus shipping. I'm moving right along. We have this UTEP, which is University of Texas El Paso. Uh, they are called the Miners. That's their uh, mascot. It's a license plate frame. I picked it up for $2 and I've got it listed for $16.88 plus shipping. Uh, this is kind of a bolo alert here. I, I try to stay away from mugs and ceramic stuff, glassware, whatever, uh, but it, it's my weakness sometimes, especially if I can find one that uh, can, uh, can flip for a good sum of money. This is a Le La Pen Taylor and Ng mug. It's a uh, I think it's called Mad Rabbits or Horrifying Rabbits or something like that. Uh, I got it for $2 and I've got it listed for $28.88, which is right there along with the other comps that have sold already. Uh, Cinderella's Royal Table Mug is the next item here. I picked it up for $0.40. Cents. I've got it listed for $8.88 plus shipping. And I've got another Christmas mug. Again, can't stay away from the mugs. Uh, I'll, I've got it listed already, but you know, obviously it's probably going to be more of a holiday item, but it says he knows when you are drinking. Uh, I got it for a dollar and I've got it listed for $9.88 plus shipping. And then the last item here that I already have listed is this Starbucks clear uh, coffee mug. It does have a logo on it, but it's kind of faded. I put the green paper in the mug so that you could kind of see, but I don't know. It's a little faded. I'm, I, I may end up just keeping this. We have a few Starbucks mugs here. Anyway, I uh, pick it up for a dollar and I've got it listed for $12.88 plus shipping. Okay, so that's it for the items that I have listed already and we'll get into the uh, items that I don't have listed next. All right, so we're going to start with some items real quick, but first of all, I wanted to point this out. I got this at Goodwill also. It says Shelby, obviously. This is a metal, almost like a die cut sign. It's pretty heavy. Make a little ting there. I got it for $1.99. Uh, any search that I do, it just you know shows Shelby Mustang stuff. This may be something that somebody just made for somebody named Shelby. But if you have any ideas, if you could, just put some uh, comments below and uh, maybe direct me to where I can find out exactly what it is, unless it's just a special made item. All right, so let's get right into the rest of the stuff here. I'm going to pan out. You can see there's a lot of camera equipment. I bought another camera lot from shopgoodwill.com. So we'll get into these real quick. This is a German, um, like an eight millimeter camera. Uh, all these cameras, I don't know if they work or not. They, they don't have batteries in them or anything like that. So these are all gonna be listed as untested. This is the Microflex 200. Uh, the whole lot of cameras and equipment um, was $22.02. That's shipped and everything. So each one of these pieces works out to $2.75 a piece. I'm going to start this one out on an auction. I don't do a whole lot of auctions, but when I can't find comps, that's what I do. I'm going to start it out at $5. Uh, next up here is this Polaroid 101 LAN camera. I'll kind of open it up and show you what it does there. It's the one, one of those ones that comes out. I, I'm not going to be able to do it with one hand here, but it you know, expands out. It's got the little billows there. So this is the LAN camera 101 with a case and comes with a viewfinder there. Um, and then also has instructions, so we'll close that back up. So that's two dollars and seventy-five cents. And again, this is something I couldn't find a whole lot of comps on. I'm gonna start it out at a five-dollar auction. Um, uh, let's see. Let's just move along here. This Kodak DX thirty-seven hundred, two dollars and seventy-five cents in comps are six to thirteen dollars. I'm gonna start this one at nine dollars, or just list it for nine dollars. Uh, next is this Kodak. Uh, digital camera. It is a C913. Uh, $2.75 cost. I'm going to list it for $15. And next up we have this Sanyo 
Uh, it's the X1200, $2.75 cost, and I'm going to list it for $15. No, $9. Yep, the Sanyo is for $9. All right, so down over here we have another Kodak. This is the Kodak DX3600 with a case, and $2.75 cost. I'm listing it for $9. Not a whole lot of profit on some of these items, but it, it was all just part of a lot. All right, this Pentax. Uh, there actually is a little bit better prices on these. This is the IQ Zoom Easy R, $2.75 in. I'm going to list it for $25 plus shipping. And next, if this sells, this will pay for the whole lot anyway. Well, so, so will the Pentax. But this is, a, I'm not sure how you say it, but it's Baia maybe? B-A-I-A. -A. This is a 8 millimeter, like a viewfinder type thing. You can run your reel-to-reel. Uh, -reel eight millimeter, put one on each side, and then I guess it's backlit, and you can see my face in the reflection there. Uh, it's backlit, and uh, you can preview or just look at whatever the movie is. I don't know if this splices also, but there is an instruction booklet. You can kind of see the box is a little bit, looks like it got had some water damage or something. Uh, and then there's some other pieces in there, plus a reel. So that's what I got at Goodwill. So let me clear the table, and we'll put the next items up. Okay, so these next few items I have listed uh, already. So we'll put the pictures up here. Um, got my junk here in the background. Not really junk. That's my potential money there in the background, just in the different bins. Um, okay, so this first item here, and pardon me, because I'm going to be reading this, uh, obviously. I've got this uh, John Deere hat. It says Fort Worth on the side. Still new with tags. Pick this up. These are all thrift store items, by the way. Um, this is the local thrift store that takes on all of the leftovers from estate sales. And they also take donations as well. And all the proceeds or, or a percentage of the proceeds goes to a women's shelter. Um, if it does get a little dark in here, I apologize. We're about to get rained on here. Uh, so hopefully we can get some of this done without the uh, lightning and thunder in the background. So this John Deere hat, I picked it up for $4 and I've got it listed for $16.88 plus shipping. Hopefully I'm staying in frame here or somewhat in frame. All right, uh, next up is this Cubs Artist Series hat. These were made in 2019. Uh, Budweiser sponsored it. They commissioned four different artists to make four different hats. This just happens to be one of them. Uh, pretty neat little design on the bill. I'm not a Cubs fan, but, you know, whatever. I found it. Uh, this was $6 at the thrift store. I've got it listed for $28.88 plus shipping. Uh, next up, more Starbucks stuff. Yay, more ceramic. Uh, this is a ceramic tumbler. I couldn't find this exact one, uh, but I picked this one up for a dollar. And I'm going to start it out at $20 just to see uh, what kind of bites we get on it. Uh, next up is another Starbucks. Um, pretty neat little design here. It says uh, Viennese on the inside. Uh, it's a black or a matte black finish with a gold biplane on it. Pick that up for a dollar and we're going to list that one at $14.88 plus shipping. And next a larger Seattle mug. It's kind of, I guess not really 3D, but it's 2D or whatever. It's, it's, a, it's a raised um skyline on the on the outside of the mug on the inside of the mug it says the emerald city pick this one up for a dollar and i've got it listed for 16.88 plus shipping and let's see next here i got two items they're both pier one uh these big mugs uh, the first one here is a gingerbread uh, mug and it has a recipe on the back to make a mug cake out of gingerbread picked it up for three dollars and i have it listed for 12.88 plus shipping couldn't really find a whole lot of comps on it. Um, this other one is another Pure One mug with a chocolate cake recipe that you can make in the microwave. Both of these are like that. Uh, $3 cost on that, and I've got it listed for $12.88 plus shipping. Um, okay, so that's it for the listed items. We'll go ahead and switch over into the items that I don't have listed yet that I found at the thrift store. Okay, so continuing on with the thrift store items. These are items I don't have listed yet. I uh, picked up these uh, new with tags. Dallas Cowboys Thermafit by Nike. Uh, their pants does have a little logo there. And let's see, those were, there's a tag right there, $14. And comps are in the 50s to 60s. So I'm going to list these at $54.99 plus shipping. Um, next up, we have three sets of Lucky Brand jeans. This first one is, they're all 34, no, I'm sorry, they're all 36 by 32s. So we can get that out of the way. This first one is a pair of 221 original boot cut. Picked them up for $12 and I'm going to list those for $29.99 plus shipping. 
Next up is a pair of 367 vintage, um, that's just what they have on the tag, 367 vintage boot cut. Pick those up for $10 and I've got those listed, or will list them for 30 And uh, last on the Lucky Brand jeans is this pair of 361 vintage straight leg jeans. Again, 36 by 32s and pick those up for 12 and I'm going to list those for $36 plus shipping. Uh, also at the thrift store, I picked up two uh, tubes of this Epoch or Epoch Soul Solution foot treatment, 4.2 ounce bottles. Uh, the, each one were $8. Um, they had them marked. I, I tried to take that one off. I'm still working on it. I'll show you at the end of the video how I, how I get some of this ink off. You can see they marked on it with a marker there. Anyway, I'll try to put a little blurb at the end of the video to show you how I get rid of that stuff. Anyway. So pick these up for $8 a piece. Uh, I did see some listings for like a two pack. So that's what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to list them for $36 plus shipping. Uh, next we have a series of video games. Um, these are all $3 a piece at the thrift store. I've got two copies of the PS3 Madden 25. Pick those up for $3 and I'm going to list those for $10 each. Uh, let's see. Next we have the PS3 Madden 15. They had a bunch of games. I scanned through them all just to try to find what the uh, most valuable ones were. Anyway, so this uh, Madden 15, pick it up for $3. I'm going to list it for $10. Next is this Sims 3, and I apologize for the glare. I had to turn the light on because it is getting darker outside with the rain, as I mentioned before. Uh, Sims 3, it's a PC game for Win or Mac, Windows or Mac, obviously. Um, let's see, that one was $3, and I'm going to list it for... $10. Uh, moving right along, we have this NHL 15 for PS3. $3 cost. I'm going to list it for $10 as well. And then we have the PS3 version of American Idol. Uh, it's a karaoke, I guess, contest. I'm not sure. I don't even recall these being out when they first came out. Anyway, I picked it up for $3. I'm going to list that for $9. And uh, finally, on the video games, we have this Tony Hawk Project. Try to get the glare out of the way again for PlayStation 3. Uh, picked it up for $3. I'm going to list that one for $13. That's kind of the median. Uh, they're anywhere from $10 to $20 or $8 to $20, something like that. So I'm going to list this one for $13. Okay, so that's it for thrift stores. We're going to move along to garage sales. I went to four garage sales. I only purchased stuff at one. The other three were lame. <laughs> so first of all, we have this uh, Urban Up pair of jeans. Uh, these are 34 by 30s. Picked them up for $2, and I'm going to list those for $13.88 plus shipping. Uh, moving right along, we have this Dura brand CR500 AM FM digital alarm clock with radio. Picked it up for a dollar. I'm going to list that one for $14. Uh, there are a few listings. The solds are $13 to $15, so I'm going to put mine in the middle at $14. Uh, next, this may be a, a bad buy here. It's this TomTom. Tom. It's got the cigarette lighter plug or whatever. I tried it. I plugged it into my truck. I should have done it before I left the garage sale, but I, I couldn't get anything to light up on it or come on. Uh, that one cost me five dollars. Uh, we'll see what I'm going to do with that. I'll just for now. Let's just say I'll list it for five, just so I can even that one out because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it since it doesn't work or I can't get it to work. If anybody has a, has a suggestions on how to get that work, please comment below. Okay, let's see. There was also a bunch of these plug-and-play games at that garage sale. I got this Namco Mrs. Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man. I uh, picked it up for a dollar. All three of these were a dollar. Uh, Miss Pac-Man, I am going to list for 30. Uh, the Atari Atari plug-and-play right there picked it up for a dollar. And I'm going to list that one for 10. Um, all the joysticks work fairly well. I, I've tested them all. And then last up on those plug and plays is this Activision uh, plug and play. Picked it up for a dollar. I'm going to list that one for ten also. Uh, let's see. Same garage sale. This Battleship game. They didn't. They weren't sure if it had all the pieces. So I've got to get in there and count them and find out if it does have all of them. So they just gave that to me for free. Uh, the comps are fifteen to twenty. I'll just put mine on the low end and say fifteen. And let's see, last two items, I picked these up in, in, in my neighborhood earlier in the week on the virtual Facebook yard sale page. We'll skim over that real quick. Let's go to the Sock Monkey Hot Chocolate Mix Mug. 
I may just remove the mug because I don't know about the hot chocolate mix, how long it lasts or whatnot. Uh, so I got it for free. I'm going to list it for probably 5 to $7. We'll just say $5 right now. And then last of all, I have this 2016 Honda Civic OEM radio. The uh, people in the neighborhood said they just bought a, a better system and they removed this and took it with them and they handed it out for free. My favorite price. So these are anywhere from 50 to 117 from what I can find on comps. Uh, I'm going to list mine at 80 just to kind of be in the middle and then I've, I'm taking offers all the way down to like 50 I think. So that's it. Uh, we'll run over the numbers here in just a moment. Okay, so I'm, I am going to show you how to, I remove these uh, magic marker uh, markings on the different products that I get. But first of all, right here, right there, I am going to put a tennis racket that I picked up for free at a different neighborhood this weekend, and I forgot to post it. It was included in the dollar amount, so I got it for free, and I'm going to list it for, I believe it was eighteen eighty eight. It's a uh, Wilson, uh, it's a graphite Kevlar type racket, so we'll see how that goes. So now, on to the ink removal. Okay, so normally I would use maybe something, you know, like even like lighter fluid you can use, along with a little makeup wedge or a cotton ball or even a paper towel. Uh, you can also write on it with a dry erase marker. I don't have a black one. This is green. Um, but I'm just going to skip that for now. But you could write on it and trace over it and then just uh, wipe it away with a paper towel. Um, for now, what's been using or what's been working pretty good for me is, and we know it's at a high demand, but regular old hand sanitizer. Uh, we do have some backup, so I'm just going to use this real quick. You can put just a little drop on there. Just kind of maybe let it roll around a little bit, get on that number. So at least try. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a paper towel, get this out of the way, and wipe, 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 wipe. So there you can see for the most part it's gone. There is a little bit of faint um, memorial of the number. I can't think of a word, but whatever. So there's a little bit of faint uh, number on there, some ink still on there. I can just tr continue to try to do that. I don't think it's really going to show up, or if somebody sees that, I don't, gonna, I don't think they're going to say, oh, he just paid $8 for it. Anyway, so I wanted to include that in there, and there you go. There's a tip. Tell me how you remove magic marker. Put it down, or permanent marker. Put it down in the comments below. Thanks. Okay, so I'll stand here next to my photo station. Hopefully the window glare is not too bad. To go over the numbers, so total spent was $135.40, and the potential gross sales is $755.30. We'll see how that goes. Some of these are probably going to be long tail items, but regardless, hopefully they'll sell in the end. So thanks for watching. Hey, hit that thumbs up, do the thing before you leave. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet and you like content like this from uh, resellers, uh, please consider subscribing and hit the bell for notifications. That way you'll be notified when we put out another video. This has been Keith with KND Flips. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. I found some stuff this weekend. Garage sales, estate, no, no estate sales. Nah, let's do that over. I've got a haul video for you this weekend. No, I don't.